behind. Hi, I'm Michael. Um, we've brought two heavyweight robots here today to compete. This is our newer robot, Implosion, which is our new project. The major disadvantage of an axe, every time you fire, it's almost an opening for a flipper to come in and get a flipper retaliation. So you've got these sort of compliant um, little wedges on the front, or flappy bits. And what they do is they kind of, no matter where the robot jumps to or if it's rocking about, they kind of stay planted on the ground and make it difficult for a flipper to get underneath them. We've, we feel like we've cracked the flipper, so we're moving on to a new weapon and we're trying to win with an axe now. Hi, I'm Ed and this is Apocalypse. Apocalypse is a high-powered pneumatic axe. <laughs> Normally comes over further than that. This version of Apocalypse is about four years old now. Uh, it's done quite a few fights in many countries, so it's pretty tired. This event, we've upgraded the drive system, so it's a completely new drive module in here. It's completely untested in the arena, so we don't know if it's going to work. You've got Michael with Implosion, ex-Robot Wars champions with a brand new machine. It's going to do well, isn't it? Apocalypse has been around for years now, and when it works, it's great, but when it doesn't work, it's fairly often. Drivers engage all systems. Three, two, one, fire. Oh dear, immediately on that first hit, we've got CO2 venting out of Apocalypse. That's the weapon system, that's the pneumatics that gives it the power, the punch to get that axe up over the top. If Ed doesn't have a weapon in this game, what is he going to do to ensure a win? Or just to survive? Because being in an arena with Michael Oates, with a weaponless robot, is not a good idea. Michael brings drive, passion, experience, and a deadly tenacity. What can Ed do now with an axe that is not working, other than back away like that? Those armor panels, though, doing their job. Very cleverly mounted on a suspension rig, stopping any of those direct blows from the top from doing damage to the internal workings. But it looks like Apocalypse has done damage to itself, and that weapon is certainly immobilized now. It's just up for Michael and Implosion to hammer away on the top of those panels to break through the defense. Glancing blow, sending sparks. The best bet for Ed now in Apocalypse is to activate the arena hazards to use that to advantage. He still has maneuverability. He still has incredible speed on his side. We've seen it before. There can be an upset if we get that pit lowered. But in an axe fight, if you've not brought an axe, you're gonna lose. Ed trying to make some distance now. He has tried to hit that arena button. The pit has lowered, but the tactic only works, Ed, if your opponent goes in it, not you. Oh, dear! Oh, dear! That's gone about as badly as it possibly could have. But that being said, at least it's safe from the axe now. Yes, Marco knows it's a win. The audience knows it's a win. I know it's a win. And unless you've had your eyes closed, you know it's a win. Again! Wait, this is becoming the Michael Mania show. What is going on? You've done well. Uh, you pretty much getting the points in every fight now. That's the plan. You know, Explosion got its five, Implosion's got five. One more to go, which is Eruption, everyone's favorite. So let's just hope we can do three out of three. You can only take one robot into the grand final if both of yours qualify. Who's it going to be? Right, I mean, history would say I should take Eruption, but we're going to have to see what it's looking like by the time we get to finals. Implosion's looking like it's on form. If I think it's a stronger contender, then I'll put it through. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Well done, Michael. Congratulations once again. Five points through knockout. Let's hear it for Michael! Well done, Mike. Well done again. A dominant performance from Implosion. But will they be as lucky against a fully functional opponent? Next into the arena is Flipper Dystopia versus...